Anthony Fanning is coming out now to throw the ball in. Let me just start the clock here. I have a clock. Starter again. I can't see anything. No. They have uh, Jay, Joey, Joey Dalton down to the corner. They have uh, Jack, ha Jack uh, Cummins in the half forward lane. Jack Griffiths had to get that ball up quick. He dropped it though. Tomas Chase. It was a chop. It was a free in, yeah. This should be in range over Tomas. No, maybe it's a bit far out. Early pressure now would be good for Manchester Rangers. If they can get another early score, it might settle him down in the second half. This is uh, number four to come out of this ball again. Harry Cavanagh. Yeah, he's after the second went well. Cornell. No, it was a uh, referee blew for uh, a push in the back and the back of the under the, in the back of the helmet. So oh, it's a free out now. That's that's it's, it's, it's an easy out for Carroll Town. The boy should be smarter there now. They shouldn't be giving away them easy outs. Connor Coleman said they're taking this well. No, he dropped the boy. He, he got up. Tomas Chase has it. Tomas strikes it up up the line up to Tim Brennan. Tim gets up first time and turns. He's been pulled back. It's definitely a free. Referee is at a plain advantage. So the ball has gone in, but it's, it's not advantage. So uh, Tim is going. The ball is going to come back for where the free was 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 given away, where the foul was committed. Tomas Chase is just drying his hands there now and drying the ball. And there's no one making any short runs looking for this now. They're all staying in behind us. They should be making a run maybe, probably looking looking for the ball. It's a big high ball into the square now for uh, from Tomas Chase. Jack Hayes, Jack, Jack Cummins nearly got it. But Parathoner once again coming out with it. It's a good block, no. He got it out. David Cummins at the run, they're running. Did they, get, did they get a little nudge in the back? No, he didn't, but he's had to recover back well. Ezra Dolan comes in to, just to clear the ball back up the field. And Jack Hayes. Colin Fitzpatrick is coming on to this now. Good lad, Colin. He played the ball well, well done in, early into Joey Dalton. Joey flicks it into the full forward lane. Corey Cavanagh's running onto it, but the full back for Carroll Town is their leader behind the noise. It's been robbed. Corey Cavanagh, they definitely have the physicality, uh, Carroll Town. They're bigger men in there on the backs, and it's, it's harder. David Coleman has that ball, but he's, he let it pass him. This is uh, number 10. I think it's Alex Slaney taking on two, two backs from Monash Ranger. He gets it onto his left hand side and strikes it into the danger area. Uh, this is a this is a Keelan Brady for for Carl Town. James Kenny made a wild sweep out and he missed it, but someone else, Connor Coleman, got back and got it out of the danger area. They need to send him up now. This man hand passed out to John Perry, who turns turns back again and strikes it, but it's gone wide, gone gone straight across the face of the goal and wide. That was John Perry, a shot from John Perry. That's Carl Town's first wide of the game from from what I, I have recorded here, and it's. Three minutes, two and a half minutes, three minutes into the second half. This game is ebbing and flowing. It's, go, it's going to be close. There's going to be nothing in it at the end of the game. That's a good puck out from Jack. Jack. A good puck out from Jack. Uh, Jack Coleman, but the number number five again for Carroll Town. Luke Murphy is after coming out with two or three balls there for Carroll Town. It's a dangerous ball in if anyone catches it. But Jack Foley has it. He does a great. Job and flicking it out. It's a, probably a free out. He's been fouled there. Yeah, he has a free out. His hurl has been pulled and he was, he was pulled across his arms as he was coming out of that ball. Jack Foy done very well there now. He cleared the danger. Out, away from the front of the goal where. The ball from John Perry. He missed it. He flicked it. He hit the tops of the fingers, but he got it back. He's recovered again. He's going to try and run. He got away with maybe steps there, but he didn't. David Coleman has had to be slow to react to that. Connor Coleman is, is covering the angle. Number 11 here is Evan English. He gets it up first time and strikes it across the face. Another dangerous ball, but James Kennedy is there. No, he's not. James leaves it. Uh, Brandon Cassidy went to pull him. He's at the, Ezra Dolan's been doing very well there. They're staving off two of them. And uh, James Kennedy clears the lanes again. This is Parry Cavanaugh. It's a foot race to the ball, but the half forward, Alex Laney, number 10, gets to it first and plays it back into the midfield, into number 9. Who's uh, Josh Brady? I think he's one of the twins, the Brady twins. He hits it into. I don't know who this number is. Number 12. It was pulling James Kennedy's hurl, but he's, the referee is there closely. And John Perry has it up. Bangs it on, turns onto his right and strikes, but it's gone wide. Jack Foley had it watched all the way in fairness and he knew where it was going. It was good pressure on, uh, good pressure on, on, the, on the strike there, not to let him score. Jack is just straight off the hand of Jack Foley, that is. 
he's tapping the ball on the hurl and he's looking at who wants this ball. There's two men, Conor Coleman is loose on the far line and, and Tomás Chase is there in close proximity, but he's looking like he's going to land on top of Tim Brennan here and Jack Cummins or Colin Fitzpatrick. It breaks down, but the Carroll Town lads are quicker to the second ball every time. Colton, there's a, there's a, uh, yeah, there was a bit of a rook there now in the referees that they're electing to throw it in again. Uh, the fit, he's not giving any 50-50 fi uh, balls to anyone in particular, he's just throwing the ball in and resetting the play. Jack Griffith is on the ball now again, is Jack Ed up? No, he's been crowded over by three car four carrot men. One of them pulls on the wrong man, but Cornell Fitzpatrick has it. He's running at him. He's had to been dispossessed. And Carrotown cleared the lines again. But Connor Combs at the reading it well. Carrotown definitely have a man left back. They've taken, they've taken it forward over. Connor had time, but he, he, he the first time he did get up, he lets it into the middle of the field. Jack, Jack Griffith hits a bad strike there, but Parry Kavanagh has it now and it's got into the full forward lane. Tomas, Mike Chase needs to come out with this. No, Carrotown are coming out with it. They have the extra man in the backs and it seems to be working for him. Don't foul David Coleman got away with pushing it back there. He definitely had his hand in the back, but and Ezra Don got the leading behind him. He's ever misreading it. And this is number 13. Keelan Brady, he set up the goal earlier on. He's ever... Jack Foley done very well there. And blocked that ball. It was a sure goal. But uh, Jack Foley blocked the ball and James Kennedy is holding it because it was a sure on goal. Keelan Brady won, it, won that ball well again. And let it over to number 12 who's Brandon Cassidy, who's one on one with the goalie, but Jack Foley was brave. He's as brave as be them, and he came out and he blocked it. And he hurt Brandon Cassidy in the meantime. It wasn't a foul. He blocked the ball and it went out for a 65. Six minutes gone in the second half. Carroll Town seem to be winning 60% of the exchanges here now. They seem to be playing the better at the moment. Well, Mr. Enders are getting no change in the, in the in the forwards. The ball is coming out very easily. Liam Coleman is going in there now having a word with, with uh, Conor Fitzpatrick. No, he's had to tell him to switch. He's had to bring him out to the middle of the field and put Jack Griffith in centre forward. It's a tactical position move. It's not a great strike, but he's had to make it in. Is it going to break down? No, it does break down, but number 12, Brandon Cassie has, he has it up quick. He turns onto his right hand side, didn't strike. He held it up. Tim Brennan, a great block down by Tim Brennan. He was under pressure. He closed the man down and Clear the lines well, it's a good clearance. Now Jack Griffith is out to meet it. Maybe he's centre forward and work better for him. A big strong man, Jack. He's turning into it. But is he being fouled? He is. No, Jack hits it on his left into Cornell Fitzpatrick. They link up well, these two boys. Cornell has it up. He turns, he slips, he drops the ball. There's four men around him and no one has to range as well. The Monash Range men are not going in to support each other. The ground is slippy there and Cornell Fitzpatrick slip, but. Three lads were looking at him and they should have got in around him there and helped him and Jack Griffith came in but he seen the referee deemed that he fouled the player. It's an easy clearance again for Carroll Town and puts more pressure on our backs. Conor Coleman swung wild there. Jesus, we're, is he, uh, is it a, it's saved on the line by, uh, a great save by James Kenny on the line. I thought it was in the back of the net but James got back and he saved. It was a powerful save. Uh, David Coleman had a leader behind him. No, don't, no freeze now, lads. Kendi has it up, but it flicks over to Moss Chase. Moss hits it off the left-hand side. It wasn't a good clearance, and Carroll Town have it again. They're definitely after doing a lot of stick work, because their first touch is very good, Carroll Town. Looked like a bit of a high pull there from Conor Fitzpatrick, but Tim Brennan's after coming out with it. Tim has his hurdle being pulled. Carroll Town are definitely to have it. He's after playing advantage, Billy Fanning. They're definitely not letting our lads run at him. They're, they seem to be willing to give away the free. And take their, take 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 the medicine and try and get back and regroup. This is Colin Fitzpatrick. No, he hasn't. He falls over the ball again. He should be stronger on the ball. Conor Coleman is not going to be knocked off at those. He's a low centre of gravity. And the planning is playing an advantage. Small Chase is coming across. And he's after bringing it back to, to where the foul was committed. Huh? The wet ball is cutting it. Yeah, the wet ball is yeah, it's cutting it, yeah. The ball has not been won cleanly by the Monash Rangers lads at the moment. It's a big, a big crowd now in, in the square here, and this ball goes in. If it doesn't go over, it could be a dangerous one. But it's after going straight over the bar from number ten, Alex Laney. I think got that one again. A point from a free. There's four frees and a goal from for Carroll Town and. 
1 1 for Mount Esther Rangers. Mount Esther Rangers need to score now to get back into the game. The Gaco by passing. Moss Chase had to come down her that well and he leaves it, but Jack Cummins has it. He's, he's leaving it. A bit of a wild swing there by Conal Fitzpatrick. Tomas Chase is there, who wants it? There's more fight in Carroll Town, it looks like there's more fight. This is Jack Cummins now, he gets it up with two hands, well done. He's under pressure, but he strikes it in well into Joey Dodd. This should be Mike Chase now, he's out in front of it well. Mike gets it up in the hand quick, boy. Was he being fouled? He was being fouled, the referee gets a free out. I, I felt there that Mike Chase was being fouled, fouled first. His hurl was being held when he, as, he, as he came out for that ball. Another easy out for Carroll Town. The ball has come back up the field. Conor Coleman now is, it looks like he's going up into the forwards. This has been a, a positional change. It's David Coleman. But Ezra Dolan is at the reading well. He left his, his position and his man and he gets it up. No, he doesn't. He gets, he's a roll lifting and he's, he's gone down over. But Colin Fitzpatrick had that ball up and he was blocked. Ezra Dolan throws it up and he's blocked. They're doing foolish things. It's stuff that they should, they should know not to do, throwing the ball up and getting blocked. They're, they're struggling even. There's a great pressure though from Carroll Town. They're struggling to clean their lines. They have the men back, but they're just not getting the ball up. Tim, is, Tim Brennan is coming out with. He's, uh, yeah, he was being fouled. And the man is up on his back. The referee should definitely bring it forward. He is, yeah. And there's number 10 going in for extras. He should definitely be booked now, third man in. That, if it was a black heart, he'd definitely be getting the black heart for that. But. Billy Fanning, in fairness to him, is on top of it. He's having a, a word with him now, not to be going and mixing it up. Now, this is, this, is, uh, this is Mark Dundon in. I didn't see who was coming off when I was watching for that. I didn't see it. It was the yellow card there, was it? It was the yellow card, yeah. The second one of the match. It's one apiece now for, for both teams. This is Jack Hayes coming under that ball. It was a great take from a good ball straight into Joey Dundon. Joey go down over now, he probably will be fouled. He has it up and Joey is gone, but he's been pulled back, referee, yeah. Definitely free. Yeah, Mark Dundon seems to have gone in there into the corner forward and after taking off uh, uh, Mike Chase. Mike is after coming off. Mike was battling hard there for most of the match, but he wasn't getting much change off the referee or the, or the fullback. He looks like he's spraying water down his hand. He might have got a wrap, maybe it's an injury substitution. This is Colin Fitzpatrick, this one's at a tight angle. He strikes it well, he tried to place it, but it doesn't go, it landed. Maybe he played for the played for the lob into the square. It's a bit early to be going for it yet. There's only 12 minutes gone in the second half, and there's only there's only three points in it. A puck of a ball in it. Tim Brennan has it. Is he play it back out? No, he shoots off his left, straight back into the full back's hands. And Mark Dunnan hooks a half hooks him, but it gets out to number nine, Josh Brady, who gets it down straight down. He didn't look up, and Ezra Dolan read it well in fairness so many, and he hits it straight back into the corner. Jack Griffith took it very quick. No, he spilled, he spilled it. And a free again for a push in the back. Free out for Carroll Town. Jack is not getting any change at all off Billy, Billy Fanning, the referee, this morning. But Jack is, does play on the edge, Jack, and he is physical, but that's part of the game, it's hurling. A good ball down along the wing into the corner forward, into number 12 for Carroll Town. I think it's Brandon Cassidy. James Kennedy, geez, he jumped up on his back. Did he give away a free? No, he's a tight marker, James, but he's borderline fouling there now. But in fairness to him, He's keeping him out there. And tomorrow, Chase after coming in now as backup, and Kennedy's at the pulling on it. A hit off a car, Tom, man, but it's not going over the lane. John Purdy has it, but he hand passes. He finds number 10, who doesn't control it, but he has it up now again. He has a look. He turns back onto his right hand side. It flies it back to John Purdy. They, they seem to have more time and room in the ball, and it's a good score from play for number seven, John Purdy. To open up the gap to, to four points. 13 and a half minutes gone in this county final and Car Rangers have to still register a free or a score in the second half. They definitely do something now, they're making substitutions. Ross Trice has the ball won well and he's been fouled, the hurl has been left in there but he's running at him. He's got to take out, a good ball has gone in now, Mark Dunham needs to catch this into the hand, he does, he breaks it down for himself. No, but the, the full back has it up, he's a big physical chap that full back. Jack Griffin is over the ball now, and there's five, five Carathon lads around him. He has it up, but Jack needs to run at him now. And once again, the referee gives a free out. He doesn't indicate what it's for, but... Jack is getting frustrated with himself. I didn't see much wrong with what Jack did there now. Sometimes the referee takes a, takes a dislike into you, and 
everything seems to go against you. Jack didn't seem to do a whole lot around there. There was that's putting pressure on them. Maybe they have Miramark as one of our bigger players and they're surrounding them. That was a harsh free now in my view. And once again it's another easy out for Harold Hammond. It, it, it's easy when they get the free stop. David Coleman has this corner forward now Brad Conan is there. There's two men there but the ball is not coming up. Conan is kicking it on and pulling it on. Boy well, kicked it out over the lane. One one. Fifteen minutes gone. The second half. There's ten minutes left. The game is not gone yet. But we just need to. We just need to settle down, and get a score, and then the, the, the heads will lift again. That's a bad court and Tim Brennan read it well. And he's coming out. Um, he's been he's been fouled, but the referee lets him play advantage. Tim is running hard now. He's a fast runner, but he's been tracked back well. He should let it in now. That re that was definitely. A the referee is definitely not, not giving anything to our lads. He was he was jumped upon there and by number six definitely was foul, but referee let it, let it go. Maybe I mean by this, but he's after giving the free. He's after changing his mind. It's a long way out now for Cornell. Will he take a shot or will he take a kick? Tomas East looks like he's gone over to the left, but he's a good ball. Take, Jack is going to turn and take him on now. Little hand pass in. No, Jack was blocked in the corner forward. Recovered. Mark Dunn have one, two. There's all the Carroll Home players, bar two or, or three, are in the in, are in the are in the ha, ha, foot coming back. It's definitely a tactic they're, they're playing. They're, they're, they're falling back. They're playing the water for Sailor Hurling. This is Ezra Brown. Which should, our lads should be coming on to it all quicker and, and keeping all the play up here. And hopefully then Tim takes that down well. He doesn't know. He has it up well, but he's running again. John Perry leaves the ball in. Tim flicks it with the left hand, but strikes it wide. He's unlucky. It's probably would have been wiser maybe to run a little bit further in and hit it off his good hand, his strong side. But Tim is good off both sides. So we just need to get a score to settle down now. There's loads of time. Maybe nine, ten minutes left, including whatever injury time is, is played in it. This is where we need to put the pressure on. Jack Griffith did come up with quick and gets the ball up. He's going to run at him now. Will he be fouled or will he? Uh, John, Jack is a strong runner, he's a great stick man. I think his father Killian before him. He's definitely fouled there, yes. For once he's after getting a free. I mean, Billy Fanning is playing advantage, but Jack done very well there now. It's a cue, it's a cute angle, but Cornell, Cornell looks like he's going to take this one now. This should settle the nerves now. This is a very important free. We need to score this one. The heads could drop now if this doesn't go over, but Conan is fairly accurate with these frees, and it's, it's, it's from the right-hand side for a right-hand player. It's, it's, it should be bread and butter for him. He strikes it well, and it's gone over the bar. It's a good score for a free from Conan Fitzpatrick. First score of the half in the second half. So they're taking 17, 17 minutes and 40 seconds to come, nearly 18 minutes. So hopefully that'll be the floodgates will open now and keep, all the, keep the pressure on. Three points, there's only a puck with the ball in the game. The goalie seems like he's actually coming out well out the field. He's definitely out past more than 14. Mark Dunnan is back here in the half back lane. They're taking him out. Come on, Chase. Jack Hayes has his up. Jack Cummins has up well and he takes it up well. Definitely, our lads seem to be getting a second win. This is David Coleman, who was a fullback. Started, was listed on the program fullback. It's a great ball to Joey Dalton. Great interlink play. Joey turns the man. He's a hurl in the face, but the referee lets it play on. Hits it in well. Hits it over well to Coleman. It's Patrick who leaves it. No, he does. He gets it up. Little flick. And he's fouled. No, he's not fouled. He's muscled out. Jack goes in and fouls again. Another. That's, 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 he pulled that ball. Or did, what happened there? I missed that. Sorry, the announcer was making an, an announcement there, and uh, Ezra came out well to meet that ball. And Tomas Chase by the Kieran Delaney's soccer silent it again into the corner forward. But Mark Dundon has pace, he should close this chap down here, stand him up. He turned well, he turned onto his left, and it should be gone wide, but no. Tim, that's a free, definitely a free out, yeah. Tim Brennan, the legs were swiped from underneath him by number, was it number seven or number, number 12. There's two of them there, and either one of them could have been the culprit. Any bit of a breeze seems to be in it now, seems to be coming down the field, so Carroll Carl Town in the second half. They're picking up, there's a great take from number 10 for Carroll Town. He was fouled, but he plays the ball in, so the advantage should be over. James Kenny knocked it down well. We're caught here 
There's two on one. And he bats it down and he gets a goal. That was Keelan Brady, a goal from play for Carroll Town. So it's 2 4, 2 5 to Carroll Town and 1 2 to Manchester Rangers. They seem to be taking their goal chances when they get him, not like what we did in the first half. Joey Dalton is running onto this one and pokes it out. Coming out to meet it is Evan English. He takes it up quick and strikes it down off his right hand side into Tim Brennan. Tim reads it well. If he needs to run at him now. Is he going to be fouled? He was clipped, but the referee plays it on. That's advantage. Tim is getting a lot of hardship out there now today, but it seems to be a tactic by the Carroll Town lads. Put pressure on the player in possession. This is working for him today. Cornell has it up. He needs to be strong. He's getting fouled, but he's running at him now. He plays it over to Joy Dalton. The referee pulls it back for uh, the advantage. He said there was no advantage there at all, so he's had to pull it back. That'll suit Carroll Town because Joy was loose there, and Joy, if he didn't put over the bar, he definitely would have got in, in around the goal there. With 20 minutes and a half, nearly 21 minutes gone, Carroll Rangers need to probably get a goal at this stage on the board. Tomas Chase is setting up there to take this. It's free from the centre, nearly slap bang in the middle of the field. He lobs it in well into the square. It's not gone over the bar, it's, it's a goal. We need someone to pull on it. Tim Brennan has it up. He's dispossessed. There's a row. Carroll Town have men back. In, they, have, they have definitely numbers back. And one man gets up there, number six, again. Gets it up. Colin Fitzpatrick was fouled coming over that ball. Yeah, he was. He had the ball in his hand and he was pulled back by number eight, James Ingram. He's going to have to lob it in now. They need, probably need to get a goal at this stage. 22 minutes gone. He plays it over in low and hard into, into the forwards. It's a good ball for a forward. Joey slips, but he has it up. They're up in his back. I would have thought it was a free there now. They're up in his back and Jack Griffith has it up and has been, and has been pulled and dragged out. Turns onto his left, strikes. Mark Dundon kind of half blocks it. Or was it Mark? No, it was Barry Kavanagh. It's a good block there by Jack Hayes. Tim Brennan, they want to be behind him. He, there's a man coming there quick and he slides in. Uh, he was very brave there, that chap, wherever he was. He slid in. Uh, maybe it was illegal, but... Tomas Chase has it. We have men now, but Carroll Town seem to be falling back. Tomas Chase hits it into the square. It drops down. We need to pull in this ball. Joey's pulling. There's a hard swing going on, but there's a rook again. That's going to suit Carroll Town. They're crowding back the men. Someone needs to come out. Joey has it out, but and pulls on it. And it hits the post, hit the upright. It's still there. Joey pulls it. He's going pulling again. He pulls on it. Yes. No. It, it hit the net, and I thought from this point it was a side netting, but it wasn't. It was, oh, I thought it was in the back of the net. It was a side netting. Substitution looking like it's going to be met here from Carroll Town. Number 14 is coming in. Oh, and Carly, he's number 14 in his back. Maybe he's not number 14. And coming off is number 12. And he has it. So, with maybe three minutes plus any injury thing, that Billy Fanning is going to play. See Jimmy Lawler here, the linesman, looking for, looking for the, looking for the, looking for the, 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 the slip of paper. The referee was looking for it. Meanwhile, the game's have a restarting going on. There's a big rook in the middle of the field here again. Not a rook, there's a, a wild pulling there by Carroll Town and by Monster Rangers. And the ball that's coming out, Ezra Dolan is shoving lads off it. With his arse, Jack Griffith will come out with. This ball, there's nothing, not no fouling going on. It's just that's a slippy ball, and there's lads fighting hard for it. There's no quarter being given here, and none being taken. Number James Kennedy comes out with is he? Yeah, he was fouled. He's a pull straight across the legs. He came out with Kennedy's after having a right game there on the back. It's been tidy enough. Um, he's, tight, he's a tight marker, Kennedy. We need to look for look, look for this ball now, but they're, they're looking for this paper slip, Carroll Town. They're taking off number eleven now as well, and they're running another sub number fifteen. Uh, Jay Barco is coming in. That's that's, that's the name on the program. There is a, it could be tactics to waste time, but you wouldn't blame them for that when they're water that they're three and six points up with only three or four minutes to go. They're definitely not going to uh, let, let Rangers score a goal and they're going to try and slow the game down and get, keep the ball away from the danger area. This is Carrotown coming out with the ball again and Connor Coleman comes out to me. Carrotown finds his half hour, but he slips. Kendi has the ball up again. Will he find a man? He taps on the hurl. He plays it over to Tim Brennan, who's loose in the middle of the field. And centre forward. Tim is running at him now. Tim knows. Tim is hungry for blood. 
He plays it over. Great hand pass over to Jack. Jack needs to turn, take on his man. But he strikes it and puts it over the bar. It's a good score. No, it's yeah, it's a point, yeah. It's a it's a point. Or is it a, it's a 65, it was blocked and went wide. I think, I don't know what the Monaster Rangers are shouting here now, but there's only maybe a minute of normal time to be, to be played. And uh, we're 3 1 2 to 2 5, we're 6 points down. Conal Fitzpatrick is going to have to go for hit, in, hit it in low there. So, with Carathon definitely have everyone, they have 13 men, 13 men behind the goal. He hits it in low and hard, it was blocked by Carroll Town. A good fair shoulder, number 10 comes out with And a free out again for Carroll Town. Not too much there now, only fair shoulder. He was met with a shoulder and... He was met with a shoulder and... Uh, the referee gave a free out. Carroll Town seem to be giving all their subs a run now. They think they don't maybe have this game in the bag at this stage. Uh, they're giving all the young lads a run out. Train the whole year, it's nice for them to get their few minutes on the field for the in the final. Number 16 is coming up, coming on out for Carroll Town. Dara Brennan is listed on the bench, and number six, Sean Bogey. Big support here for Carroll Town. They're happy with that man that's coming off. This ball comes out here to the left, and uh, it's not controlled. Keelan Brady has gone over the line. Keelan looks like he's doing a bit of hockey in there with. Is that they're having a good game, Keelan? He, uh, Set up one, if not two of the goals. The first one was a, a good solo. They have all their men back now, Carroll Town. They're definitely not going to let Anne go in here to soft. It's going to have to happen quickly. It's going to happen for Ron Esther Rangers. That was a good cut from Tim Brennan again. They're having four or five good cuts. It's Lee Carpenter's after having a, 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 a good game. And he gets another free out again. It seems to be all one way traffic with these frees. I didn't see that. I was looking down the field. Uh, but uh, how are you, Dan? Carroll Town are not going to rush this one now. Why would it? Time is up on, on the clock. It's only injury time now. Let's hear this ball down the field. Billy